Hi everyone, welcome to Lipstick on a Rig. Today we're going to be making these two sleeves that can cover either a large or medium sized steel can. And these are awesome for desk organization or for holding crochet hooks and yarn. For this project, I'm going to be using a large and a medium steel can. I'll also be using size four medium weight acrylic yarn. And you will need two strands for this, but if you don't have two skeins, then you can always take one skein and divide it in half. And this is an excellent project for scrap yarn because it doesn't need to be the same size, weight, brand, or type. And if you are using two different colors, that can look kind of cool too. I'm also going to be using a size K or 10 and a half crochet hook. And for this project, we are going to crochet these two strands of yarn at the same exact time. So they're going to act like one strand. So go ahead and attach the yarn to your crochet hook with a slip knot. And we're going to chain 24 for the medium sized and 30 for the large size cans. So I'm going to show you how to make this for the large can, but I'll also show you instructions for the smaller can as well while we're making the large one. So once you have your 30 or 24 chains in place, then go ahead and slip stitch into the first stitch here. So from here, we're going to chain two. And I'm going to crochet over my tail, but it is entirely up to you what you want to do. But either way, what you're going to want to do is place one double crochet in each of the back bumps back here. And this is not in the V portion of the front of the stitch, but instead just these little back bumps. So go ahead and place one double crochet in each of the back bumps in the row. And when you get to the end of your row, you should have either 24 or 30 double crochets, depending on what size you're crocheting. So now all you're going to want to do is just place a slip stitch in the top of your chain two stitch. And so from here, I'm going to place one front post stitch in either the first three stitches if I'm crocheting the medium size can or the first five stitches if I'm crocheting the larger can. So I'm going to show you quickly how to place your front post stitch in case you're unfamiliar with that. So go ahead and yarn over and then rather than crocheting in the top portion of your stitch, you're going to crochet around the post like this. Then yarn over and drop the post. Then you're going to yarn over and drop two loops and then yarn over and drop two more loops. So now you're just going to repeat that for either the next two or four stitches, depending on what size can you're making. And once you have your three or five front post stitches, then you're just going to repeat that process with back post stitches. So I'll show you how to make a back post stitch. Go ahead and yarn over and then inserting your crochet hook from the back to the front and then back around to the back again. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through that post. Then you're going to yarn over and drop two loops and then yarn over and drop two more. And that's how you make a back post stitch. So now go ahead and repeat that for either two or four more stitches. And once you have your three or five back post stitches, then you're just going to continue following that pattern of placing three or five front post stitches and then three or five back post stitches. And you're just going to alternate like that going all the way around your row. And when you get to the end of your row, it should look like this. So from here, all you're going to do is follow like stitches. So if you placed front post stitches in your previous row, then you're going to place them again in this row. And if you're crocheting the smaller can, then you're going to repeat this for three more rows. And if you're crocheting the larger can, then you're going to repeat this for four more rows. And once you're done repeating like stitches, it should look like this. So now all we're going to do is just reverse the stitches. So in every stitch where you have a front post stitch, you're now going to place a back post stitch. And in every stitch where you have a back post stitch, we're now going to place a front post stitch. Then we're going to repeat like stitches for the next three or four rows, depending on whether you're making this for the medium can or for the large. And once you're done, it should look like this. So from here, all you're going to want to do is place one single crochet in every stitch in your next section. So if you're crocheting the medium can, this will be three stitches. And if you're crocheting the larger can, this will be five. And then you're going to place slip stitches in your next section. And once you have your single crochet and your slip stitches in place, then you're just going to cut and tie off your yarn. And then you're just going to draw these over your two cans like this. Please let me know in the comments below if you experienced any issues while you were making this, and I will do my best to help you out. 
If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel, Lipstick on a Rig. Thank you so much for working with me and I hope you have a wonderful, awesome day.